Monaco What's Yours Is Mine brings burglary and heist to a top-down 2D perspective inventively. It's a mixture of stealth and action, and regardless of which style you enjoy more, the end result is the same. It's fun, simple, and complex all at the same time. And if its charms don't steal your heart, the gameplay definitely will. Monaco is a shady place, rife with corruption, and you happen to play as one of those crooked individuals who make up the underbelly of Monaco, which happens to be the type of place where you don't know characters by their real names, instead you just know them as a job description. These different characters like the locksmith, the mole, or the hacker all have unique talents and abilities, making each heist or job more suited from one specialist to the next. And the various heists and missions differ to encourage this flexibility, yet very similar objectives are almost always the endgame. No matter if you're slinking through a yacht consumed in flames or breaking a friend out of jail, you almost always have the same goal. Infiltrate, find your objective, and then get the hell out of Dodge. It's the multiple ways in which you can conquer these missions where the real fun is found. You can be sneaky and avoid detection by disguising yourself with new attire, or you can go shotguns ablazing, turning guards into 8-bit skeletons. The art is complemented by the gameplay. A black, white, and gray color scheme comprise the unseen world, but as your cone of vision peeks around corners and through windows, the world is brought to life with a splash of vibrant tones. Those hues aren't the only tone breathing life into Monaco. The music also is an integral part of the experience, becoming something more than a simple score to fill the slower moments of stalking through the various levels. As soon as you're spotted or the action picks up, so does the music. The tunes that accompany the mischief during missions act as a familiar stealth game mechanic. In a way, the music is your stealth indicator. When you're spotted by a guard or a dog picks up your scent, the tempo picks up as well. But after you evade detection by sneaking into a nearby bush or rafter, the music will cool down, letting you know that you've eluded your pursuers. Evading enemies is also where one of the game's only faults comes into play as well. With the top-down blueprint-like perspective, it's difficult to distinguish at times a window from a doorway, and this can lead to some untimely deaths. But death isn't really a big deal. You're given several lives to complete each of the 33 stages, and there's also usually plenty of health packs to help you along the way. That being said, Monaco does have a sudden and jagged difficulty spike during the last mission, but other than that, it's a very solid experience. Monaco What's Yours Is Mine is put together quite fantastically with each aspect making the game whole, and wholly a great time. The only real crime would be to not try out this fun experiment into thievery, stealth, and action. And at its budget price, it's a steal. Oh, I should shoot me.